Ni hao. Um, so my name is Elvis. Uh, I originally come from Belize, and I'm doing my PhD research here in, in Taiwan, in PhD to be specific. Uh, so we all want to be, build the next big thing, and for that we need uh, we need our tools. And so what I want to share today is my story and how I went to venture into social e-commerce platforms from a researcher's uh, perspective. So. A little bit about myself. I, I said I come from Belize. Uh, it's in Central America. For you guys that come from America, I feel your pain. Um, so I'm a researcher and a bunch of other things. Uh, but mainly I want to focus on the research part because I think research is very important and we're building things. Uh, so first of all, when you have a project or a research, it's important to, that you have a, a clear motivation. You must find what is your motivation anchor. And you also have to have a vision. Uh, without these two things, it's impossible to create something with value. And so it's important that we must define these two things first when we start a project or something. Uh, so yeah, I mentioned something about e-commerce. I would like to just briefly just talk about it. Uh, as I said, research is important. You must do your research. Who are the biggest guys in e-commerce? Amazon, Alibaba, the eBay, and the Shopify, and Facebook is a middle. That guy is not that. It's not that small. Um, I will talk about that in a, in, a, in a few. And so, commerce is a social action. We investigated this more deeply, and by default, that's how we, that's how in ancient times that's how commerce used to be. So, an interesting thing would be to ask somebody, "Oh, how did you uh, put the green color in that rug? How did you put that shiny stuff in that rug?" So, we can see here that commerce is kind of a social way uh, of communicating. Uh, and so we see two examples here, two different uh, big companies. We see Amazon has a form there. That's what they use if you want to sell a product. And you have uh, an example of Facebook here. Uh, Facebook actually just made it much easier. Uh, I don't think anyone here uses Amazon to sell only big businesses, of course. And so everybody's using uh, Facebook to sell. And so this is a problem we want to tackle. Actually, Facebook is not meant for that, as we all know it. And sometimes it, we think it's too spammy to follow uh, buy and sell pages. And so we want to solve that problem. Uh, so is there room for one more? We think, we think there is, because everybody's searching for something. So there are over 2 billion people on, in the internet. And how much do Facebook have? 1.2? Not even that. They cover. So we think there's room for another type of e-commerce. And we're trying to build that. And so, and also to add, buying and selling should be fun, fast, and easy. And so this is mainly, so this is the only slide that I'll mention Ruby, because it's there. Um, and so I have a, like, a, like a, this is my framework for my platform. And so as you can see, there's the enemy over there, Python. And so we try, what we try to do in, in, in this approach, we try to combine two different technologies, see what uh, gives us the best results. And so by using them, we think we can make a better platform. And so some tips and experiences while building this platform. Uh, so there's a gem for everything, as we know. And you don't really have to rebuild stuff. Just go along with it. Uh, so another big issue we face is where to store the data. So you might think this is a piece of cake. Think again. So this is the most important part when you're working with any new technology, according to this guy from Quora. And so you must also listen to the question. Bill Gates say we all need people who will give us feedback. That's how we improve. It's important to listen, and it's also important important to question, keep questioning, keep questioning, and questions around the world. Uh, so first mover, we always hear this in when we uh, study entrepreneurship. We always hear the first mover. It's important to do a first move, but with a strategy. And we also uh, study this a lot in, in, in research. We we understand how this works and. And there's a lot of different uh, technology like machine learning, AI, that teaches uh, about this the first move. And it's an excellent game to learn uh, when to do the best move. And so another important thing that we learn is giving back to the community. So we learn by teaching, build your own libraries, and make them public, uh, share documents, and collaborate your findings. And so what's next? We have AI, uh, machine learning, combine these to make a better platform, and also crowdsourcing solutions. We're looking into this, and analytics and scaling as well. Uh, so in conclusion, and this is the best part, so you must be enthusiastic about what you're building. Anybody, even the guy that built Ruby, he must have been enthusiastic to build Ruby. So I think this is like the most important part in any project that you start and in any research. So thank you very much.